Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So on this week's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of this MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus motherboard. So I'm gonna go over some of the details of this board. We're gonna go ahead, open up this box and see everything that's included with it. I'm also gonna go ahead and tell you why I went with this board as opposed to some of the boards that are a lot more expensive or some of the boards that are a lot cheaper. So this is a mid-range gaming board. It's also a great board for editors, for people that do a lot of photography, a lot of videos, stuff like that. So you guys be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. There's a link in the description where you can find this board. And so let's get to it, you guys. Let's check it out. All right, you guys, so this is the uh, Lightning Gen 4 right here. This is also AMD uh, Ryzen 5000 desktop ready. AMD Ryzen 3000 desktop ready, AMD Ryzen 2000 and 3000 series compatible, and then you've got your socket AMD 4 and PCIe Gen 4 ready and AMD Store MI technology built right in. Alright you guys, so look at the back of the box here and some of the features that this motherboard offers. So if you look at performance, you've got Core Boost digital power design for multi-core CPU. Under here, you've got two times CPU power. So you've got four times the eight pin connectors. Right here, you've got the Lightning Gen 4 PCIe slots. So two times faster speed up to 64 gigs per second. Uh, right here, you've got Lightning Gen 4 M2. So latest Gen 4 solution up to 64 gigs per second. And you've got the AMD Turbo USB, so two times faster speed. Over here you've got what they're calling the Modish, which is their Mystic Light uh, solution. It's the 18 or 16.8 million colors, 29 LED effects. Very cool. You've got your do-it-yourself friendly, which is always nice for a motherboard. The atypical PCB makes SATA and USB cable routing easier, so just a lot easier to hide your cabling uh, when you're building your own uh, computer, putting your own case together. Very nice. And cooling, you've got your Frozer heat sink design, patented fan double ball bearings, always nice to have. And your M2 Shield Frozer accessory for better thermal, faster transfer speed. So just another way to keep your equipment nice and cool while you're doing some serious gaming or editing or whatever it is that you're doing. All right, you guys, let's take a look and see what we get in the box with the X570 from MSI. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. That is a good looking motherboard. Play hard, stay silent. There's your zero froze fan right there. Little MSI fan. Okay everybody, so a quick look at the ports we have on the back of this main board. So you'll notice they built in a BIOS flash button. Super handy and convenient on any motherboard. So it's just built right into the board, this little button right here. And then next to it, we've got USB 2.0 ports right here. We've got PS2 gaming uh, device port right here. We've got USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports right here. And then we've got our HDMI port right here. Over here, we've got our USB-C port right here. Another USB port here. We've got our LAN port right here, high-speed LAN port, which is always good to have more USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports right here. 
We've got our HD audio ports right here, and then we've got our optical out port right here, you guys. So a uh, very well put together board. All right, you guys, I'm gonna turn the board. We're gonna take a look at the dims over here. So this has the four dim slots. So this will accept four dims, dual channel, DDR4 up to 128 gig, and it'll run at uh, 4,400 megahertz. All right, you guys, so this board is made for an ATX case. It does come with a PCIe 4.0 times 16 slots right here. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the processor slot itself. So this is the AM4 processor. So as far as the processor slot goes, this supports second and third generation AMD Ryzen, Ryzen with AMD Vega graphics, and second gen AMD Ryzen with Radeon graphics desktop processors for socket AMD4. Alright you guys, let's turn the board once again. You'll notice over here we have got eight of these SATA slots right here to plug into. Here's our power supply hookup right here. And we've got a lot of places for power, for fans, for power for RGB, for our other power, for our other fans, and for our cooling fans. I've got a uh, liquid uh, pump for the processor. We've got power for that. All right, you guys, I'm anxious to see what else is in the box. Okay, we've got a CD, DVD CD. Got a cool little logo from MSI True Gaming. A couple of SATA cables. We've got a 90 there and just a straight SATA. Okay, there's a heat sink for our drive. Uh, we've got some, looks like some supports for the board. Keep it up off of the uh, case. There's our back plate for the board. And true gaming information about the board. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. Standoffs. Quick installation guide, always fun to have. Random screw. And of course, our booklet right here. MPG booklet, lots of fun reading. That is everything in the box, you guys. All right, you guys, so that's a look at everything unpacked from the box. I do really, uh, I am really excited to get this board installed into my case. And then once I've done that, I'll do a full on review on the board once it's up and running let you know how everything's working on this board and the features, if they all actually work and everything. I did want to point at the uh, SSD slot right here, the M2, and then the five PCIe slots. So you do have the 4.0, uh, you do have the PCIe 4.0 times 16 slots right here, and then your other PCIe slots. And this board does have ample plugs and everything built into it. Looks like it's going to be a really good board. It's, like I said earlier, it's a mid-range board. So it's not the top price board. It's certainly not the lowest price board. It's about a mid-price range board. All right, the cost on this board was about $159. But that is a look at everything that was in the box. There's the board itself. There's all the parts and everything that was included. All right, you guys, so here's a look at the uh, cover for the back of the main board right there. This will cover all of your ports right there. And then here's a better look at the heat sink for the solid state drive for the M2. Nice hefty heat sink and they've got your thermal paste on the back of it already. And then that also comes with some standoffs. And here's 
where that's gonna go right here on the board. It's gonna go right here. And they've got a really good cooling system on this board, it looks like. A lot of extra cooling right here between the fan, between these grills over here, and then a lot of extra grills built in right here onto the board. All right, you guys, so the big reason why I went with the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus motherboard is because my current system build is also an MSI board, but it's like four or five years old. When I go to do some rendering on a video that I'm making, or when I'm just sitting there gaming and stuff, it just chugs away. It's like goes to not responding if I'm trying to render a video, or if I'm gaming, it just really struggles with the graphics. I'm running a 1080i graphics card, and the hardware in there is old enough, and the board and processor and everything is old enough. It just is getting to the point where it's really struggling. So this board can handle uh, high-end graphics, gaming, editing, pretty much everything you can throw at this board. So that's my main reason why I went with this MSI board. The X570 can handle all those things provided you give it enough RAM, feed it lots of RAM, feed it a really good gaming card, and then give it a really good processor, and you will tackle all those issues. All right, you guys, so reason number two why I went with this motherboard over some of the other boards that are out there, because I really like AMD processors, and, you know, I've used Intel in the past, but I really lean towards the AMD because of the gaming, because they're a little bit more affordable, and just because the graphics are usually better if you go with the AMD type side of processor. That and the price is usually a little bit better with these types of boards. So that's another reason. All right, you guys, my third reason why I went with this MSI board, the MPG X570, is because it's got this sound boost feature. So the thing is called Audio Boost 4 technology. And I don't know, I may still end up having to buy a high-end uh, sound card for this, for this board. We're going to find out. But because I've got the theater room with the super good surround sound, 9.2 surround sound system, I just wanted to see if it can handle the sound or not through this board without spending the extra money to buy a super high-end sound card. We'll see if it can handle it. If not, I'll end up having to spend an extra 150 bucks or whatever. For a nice sound card. I will keep you posted on that in an upcoming video. Alright you guys, so my last reason why I went with this board over a lot of other boards on the market is, I'll be honest, I am partial to MSI. I've had a lot of luck with the MSI motherboards. I'm a tech, that's my real job in life. I install computers, I install motherboards, I do a lot of work with hardware. There is nothing worse than spending a lot of time putting together a brand new computer build, getting the motherboard installed in a case, getting all the components in, getting all the wiring in, getting all the cables and everything put in, just everything's perfectly, hitting the power button and then coming up and seeing this big nasty error or just nothing at all on the screen. Like there is nothing worse than putting in a brand new board and having the thing not work for the first time. So I'll tell you what, the MSI have been really good to me. These have been great boards for my experience and another reason is this thing will support uh, the Ryzen processor I wanted, the Ryzen 9, the uh, 3950X 16 core uh, 32 thread processor. I've just had really good luck with MSI and We'll see. I mean, knock on wood, this thing will, will be rock solid like these other boards have been. So, all right, you guys, so I hope this video is really helpful for you. I'd love to hear what kind of motherboard you're putting in your own systems or your own builds. Be sure and stay tuned for the review on this thing coming up later on. Check out these other awesome videos, you guys, and thanks again.